Alrighty guys, what do you think about that? Let me know down in the comments. Are any of you using coolers? Now, one problem with the cracky setup, especially during the summer, is that your water tends to warm up really fast. And one thing we've done to combat that is to use larger containers, because the more mass you have, the longer it takes for it to heat up. Another thing you could do is insulate them and cover them with insulation or wood, put them in a shade, you know, what have you. So following that same logic, coolers are insulated. Now big coolers cost a lot, you know, and we're trying to do things as inexpensive as possible here. And I found this one at Dollar General. You can see it was only $6. It's a little igloo cooler and it holds half a gallon. So that's pretty cool. What I like about this too is it's got a little top that pops off that easy so we've got a little hole to put our plant in you know if you want to put a couple you might drill another hole right back here but I'm just gonna go with just that one because it's only half a gallon here right see what we can grow bonus it's got this handle look at here it's got these hooks I haven't seen this before evidently I think if you go camping you know that you can hang this up maybe get away from bugs in that but if you got somewhere to hang this outside, look at that. So you don't even need any space, you know, to put it down. If you've just got somewhere where you can hang it, you can put your plant in there, insulated little container. Let's see how that goes. So that's cool. I love like little added bonuses. So we're going to let this go for a couple weeks, see how it goes, come back and let you guys know. Now, if this goes good, I'll be getting some bigger coolers. And because we're trying to keep things on the cheap, I'm going to be keeping an eye on the thrift stores. So instead of buying a new one at the store, you know, why not just get a used one, drill a couple holes in it. You know, if you mess up drilling the holes, you didn't blow 20, 30, 40 bucks or whatever, right? I'm not at the point yet where I'm going to go get a $100 Yeti cooler or something and give it a try. But, you know, if that keeps your nutrients cool during the hot part of the day, you know, that could solve a lot of our problems with the crack heat setup. So... I love the cracky setup. I love just set it and forget it. I've got a load of them growing outside. I've got a couple inside that have some aeration, but for the most part, 95% of my stuff is cracky, set it and forget it hydroponics. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. If that works really well, that saves a whole lot of time as far as building anything. It's just buy this, fill it with nutrients, put a plan in it, call it done. Just like you saw in the beginning of this video. So you guys let me know, anybody growing like this? And we've got lots more coming this month, so stick around. Don't forget to follow. And as always, lift and inspire. Keep on growing and be the change. Love you guys. Catch you later. We'll